Thursday. We only have nine of them. Okay. Are you Bob? Any day. Okay. So I will talk to Brian. Why does he have to meet with him in person, Brian? If you like to get everyone together and just say, you know, this is what's, in, you know, if he games and different things that we've seen happen in the past and stuff, and uh, websites and different things, nothing, nothing that, you know, it sends big alarms, but stuff that we need to make sure everyone knows the policy. And uh, you're going to be limited. Yeah. I mean, it's in the writing. It's in the writing of the policy when they sign it, anyway. So, I mean, yeah, we could do that. Oh, well, I, I don't we see why we have to wait till the first of the year. I like to see him. I'd like to see him sign that. Why couldn't ASAP? Sorry, why couldn't you, the department heads, explain to them they could then send out the written materials to people and get them signed? Right? We could do that. That might be a better thing. We we have a Zoom account. Bob, like Courtney. I guess it happens sooner than later, too, because, you know, before yeah. something else happens to our the computers. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let me talk to Brian and uh, get a Monday or Tuesday where they can meet during the day, and we will have department heads only because Matt made a good point about we'd be over have too many people here, too. Um, so and then we will have everyone sign the new policy. It ain't a new policy. It just... The policy that we're just enforcing, and we're going to have a new signature uh, this year. And people that are using it. If you do need a bigger room, too, I'm sure we can get the fire station meeting on. Okay. No, I, th I think it's a better approach with this right now. It might be a better approach that uh, we just have the apartments heads, and it's going to be on paper. I mean, it's basically what we already have in place, but just reinforcing it. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Number eight. Resolution discussion. Passing local law number one of 2020, solar energy. We have the public hearing on it. Motion in a second. Make the motion. Craig Brittle. Sorry. Second, Jim Douglas. Diane, uh, resolution. If we have any discussion, we can have it. Passing the local law number one of 2020 providing for solar energy, whereas a public hearing having been held on the proposed local law on, 7, on September 14, 2020, and whereas the board has before it the proposed local law. Now be it resolved that local law number one of 2020 solar energy is hereby adopted. Mr. Barber? Yes. Mr. Douglas? Yes. Mr. Irwin? Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. McDonald? Any discussion before? Yes. Okay, all five yes. Okay, moving right along. Just make sure that the proper resolution has the right names on it. <laughs> Sweetheart, you signed the minutes. You can look at them. <laughs>
three dollars more a ton for the to sell organics price, not the landfill. This this would be going up to the uh, compost facility because we don't have the sticks on it. Right. Yeah, like I expensive last time. I don't remember what the number was. It was uh, I think 105 a ton or 103 a ton to go to landfill. And then this price. Is this is 79. So 79. It's going up three dollars, but this is three dollars. This is what we paid yeah. a lot of <coughs> last time. The original was 76 per ton. Yeah. Per residual. We're gonna try to. We used to wait until we were completely full in there, but we're going to try to haul more often so we can turn it over more and try to get it a little drier so maybe we can save a little money on weight. That's a good idea. It's just mm -hmm. that drying bed is just too small. Like it should be three times that size. Yeah. There's just not a lot of room to lay the material out, let it dry, turn it over. Right. You could almost, uh, I mean, you have to run the numbers, you could almost justify putting the bigger building up, spreading it out more. Yeah, I mean, if you can get it spread out there, it dries out nice, but you just don't have the room in that building. Yeah. When we get That's something we can look into. Well, when we get rid of the sludge beds, the lagoons, will there be enough room then? Up there? Yeah, down. We well, got the property. I mean, you got the property I think, right here in town. It's just the building is not big enough. No, I understand that, but. Where the lagoon is, right next to it. Oh, in there. Yeah. When those are all filled in, will there be enough room down there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's just building the structure. Yeah. You can go off the existing structure now, probably another full length. It has to be under cover. Yeah. Yeah. The, the rain gets on. Right. You're defeating the purpose of trying to drive. Okay. That's something I would look into. We don't want to buy it. Not right now. You don't want to buy everything right now. What am I saying? Um, you can't even find it actually. Six by six is one hundred and two dollars. Sixteen feet. Yeah. 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 Okay. Any more discussion on this? No. Are we good? Yeah. But we will look into that, Courtney. You know, once things calm down and get down. Okay. Is that something you guys can throw together? No. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. hey, there's really nothing to it, but there's another one we can look at. Yeah. Another submission. Highway built the lean through before. Yeah. 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 It's just the height you're dealing with. Yeah. 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 Yeah
few members expressed that uh, they'd like to start the meeting at 6 o'clock. Um, made a copy of the bylaws. Uh, and we got okay. there. So, um, again, they just would like to start the meeting at 6 o'clock. They were all, all in favor of that. But as far as the procedure as to amending the bylaws, Matt, I'm not really sure.
I'm not really super in favor of the APA. The local review board is watches over the APA, right? I guess. Yeah. I don't see what they're doing for us. What do they do for the $300 for us? They tell you that you're through there, tell you some of the stuff they do, the cell tower, the different things in the town. The we get a little patch or anything? so much to protect development. Also, some towns have areas that maybe they need to change some of their land classifications, and they get involved with that. And I know Fred Monroe, I've known Fred for years. I know, is Fred still the guy down there, Matt? I think so. Yeah, his name is in the doctor. Yeah, yeah. Is Tom Chester kind of with it? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> I don't think there's the mud kid that's down on the food that's in the uh, AP. It's all. Uh, yeah, it's it's all up. Yeah. The mayor showed all that. Why have they get through Florida, <laughs> Razville, Easyville? Yeah, yeah there's, there's a good chunk. Yeah, yeah there is. Yeah. So this is a new request, right? It's a new request. Yeah. 300 hours for the year. Uh, basically what they're saying, they got to act 29% cut in their budget. Yeah. From the state. From the state. Yeah. So it was $100 before. It's not a, a new request. It's a 300 $300. It isn't our budget for $100. Oh, okay. So they're trying to recuperate the 29% they lost from the state with each town, you know, each town a little bit, and they asked to have it put on the thing. Yeah, they could make it up. I'm fine with it. We're good. Diane, resolution, please. A resolution approving the agreement between the town of Pearl and the Adirondack Park local. Government Review Board and authorizing the supervisor to execute the same. Whereas the town board has the agreement before it between the town of Peru and the Adirondack Park Local Government Review Board, and whereas, the, whereas Adirondack Town and village funding of the Adirondack Park Local Government Review Board has been instrumental in helping the Adirondack communities by providing strong, unified, and effective representation on Adirondack policy issues. And whereas the agreement has authorized an appropriation in the amount of $300 for the services of the review board and representing the town in matters related to the Adirondack Park. Therefore, be it resolved, said proposed agreement is approved, and the supervisor being hereby is authorized to execute said agreement. And be it resolved that this resolution shall take effect immediately. Mr. Barber? Yes. Mr. Bruno? Yes. Mr. Douglas? Yes. Mr. Irwin? Yes. Mr. McDonald? Yes. Moving right along. Number 13, Courtney. Front sewer project update, anything? Yep. Uh, I guess the conversation with DOT has been going a lot better. Yep. There's a lot more communication now. Um, there was some added work, unfortunately. Um, some extra surveying work. Um, another D DOT is requiring another bore sample over by the bridge and some work with the crosswalk, seeing we're touching one one intersecting crosswalk. I think mean, now we've got to touch two others because we're touching one, they're going to make us do some other work. So, unfortunately, I'm sure it's going to cost us uh, more money on top of that. Um, the 
lot behind the community church is staked out. They did that last week, I believe, so anybody that wants to see the dimensions, there should be stakes there for you to view. Um, still on track to go out to bid in October. So, and Greg, Greg will be here next next meeting for further updates and stuff. Courtney, on that lot, I was um, it's now a minor from the county called me tax map. The lot that they're going to that the town's going to acquire for the church that should go to the planning board, right? If they're going to subdivide that community church lot. That should go to the planning board, correct? Yeah, we talked about that. I think. Yeah, we did talk about that. Okay. Do we know Courtney, about when that's going to be? No, I don't know. Okay. Now. Sorry. I can tell you that I talked to Brian, Dr. Pastor Peggy, we are all they have a meeting. They have a meeting a week from tomorrow night. Okay. And everything's all okay. that everything's locked and loaded as so, their final official board, but they're happy with the five hundred dollars more. Great. Uh, Presbyterian and Methodist yes. congregation. They're all fine with it. So okay. Brian, Toby, and then, then Matt will be up to a few to go up to the okay. So, do we yeah. know, is this Scott Allen that's going to be doing work for AAS, right? Yes. Imagine, sir. I believe it's all drawn out. Okay. Okay. So, that's the schedule. I thought that was all done. I have not seen the schedule. So, 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 I imagine it's going to be AES and Scott, uh, Scott uh, Allen, did it, which meant something to the down planning board and the other. So, okay. Just, thank you. We also received a bunch of paperwork from NYSEG that has to be signed by the town and the um, the church for easements and the whole nine yards. So I don't know if you want to look at it first or. So we've got to redo all those easements. All the temporary ones. Temporary ones. Yeah. All the temporary ones for sure. Uh, th these are NYSEG easements. Yeah, that's just for the utilities and the natural gas and different things. But we do have to do temporary easements, yes. When do we start? Yeah, that's right. Well, they're saying, my feeling was is to wait closer to the project because they're only good for a year. For a year. We do them now. Right? Yeah. So wait till spring? Closer to the project because the problem is. Not the bidding of the project, the project is starting. Yeah. Shovel the ground, yeah. Because the thing is, like Matt said, if you start you start doing them now, yeah. we might have to do them again next year at this time if the project's not done. I understand. It's good for one year. So we have to assume that everybody's on board. Right. Yep. And if they're not, we bypass them. And then they pay. But that's all right. Can we stipulate in the temporary easement that it's good for two years? I've been looking at trying to find a way to the temporary easement. <laughs> May I ask a question? Uh, Helen's lot. Yep. Um, if they give us a problem with an easement going across it, since we've already got a sewer line in the ground there, can we already work on it? So it's me and Can we put it in the well, we To me, that you have to by prescription, which basically means you have the right to maintain, um, uh, maintain, install, repair, those kind of things. The line in the ground. So just because you have a right to it doesn't necessarily necessarily mean they're not going to give you a hard time. Maybe right. one of those things you have to go to court and get a judge to enforce. You actually have to you know, show them these the elements of the reason this is why we think we have it. They would say no, you don't. So it should be easy, yeah. but if they want to be awful about it, they can certainly do that. And those are the types of things that they'll always move super fast at court. Okay. But we did talk about that already. I think yeah. that one we need to get on now. Yeah. Or next spring. Because then we're going to have a problem with it drag this. Now, is there an issue if we bore underneath through that lot? Without an easement? Without an easement. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, what does the easement say, though? Does it, it, what if it says replaced? Does it, it must be something in there. Well, the easement by prescription doesn't say anything. It's basically okay. something that happens by operation of law based on circumstances. So okay. I think that's the problem. There's nothing in writing you right. can look at. You basically say, yep. I've got this line here. It should be obvious that at some point they have to you know, legally repair it, replace right. it, one of those kind of things. So it's, it's one of those things where it's basically up to a judge okay. at some point to say, 
Okay, this is what you can do or can't do with that. Or if you might say, you know, you don't need all the elements of this, you don't have it, you can figure something else out. But getting on that one, that makes sense. We should probably think about, well, getting a letter to them soon. It's like if you're needing something to figure out, one, what their problem is, and two, how to deal with it. I mean, it shouldn't be that big a deal. How far are the property are you talking about, Nolan? Right straight through the edge of it. So, I mean, how far from the outside of their property? Are we talking 10 feet in, 12 feet in? Um, I think the lines, yeah, I think it might be 10, 15 feet in from the edge of the property line of the neighbor. So, really, all it's going to need is they can't put a structure over it. Yeah. So, uh, I can't imagine it's going to be that big a deal. Get on that one sooner than than the other ones, obviously. Yeah, who's sure. going to take that step? I mean, we, we, we need to get that clear. Just, who's going to contact Melorans? Initially, it should be the. I don't really think it should be me. Should be the engineer. I think it needs to be higher on the food chain. It should be the engineer. <laughs> <laughs> should be the engineer in that sense. Mm -hmm. But we did talk about if they do not too. Um, when Greg was here last time, or um, if they do not. They can work around it, they said. I do remember him saying that. So if he's going to be at it the next... It ain't a deal or no deal thing. If he's going to be at the next meeting, let's... Let's get nailed down to the next meeting. Let's get nailed down to the next meeting. Let's get nailed down to the next the next meeting, we have to make sure. And then, like you said... Getting over there. Good. <laughs> there is nobody higher up in the food chain than you. Lots of people sitting right there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't, don't kid yourself. <laughs> Randy knows how to flush a toilet, that's it. <laughs> I just think it's something we need to get on. So Absolutely. We'll take sure the next meeting. Um, right? okay. I made a hiccup. Uh, We've had enough with that hiccups over there, so we'll get Greg right yeah. on it. Yeah, absolutely. One of us maybe go with him or whatever. I can go. Yeah. I go with him. Absolutely. No problem. Okay. Any other for me on that? Other than Greg That's on the sewage collection. I don't know if you want me to jump into Balcor and other or do that in other business. Do that in other business. Okay. okay. So for our other business. There we go. Rick. Nope. Jim. I'm only taking that idea out is that you guys uh, there was a little issue with the computer that at the corner, and then we got to say, uh, I called Brian at 6.30 in the morning, and they were over there for a period of time. They did have a little bump in the road with one of the servers. Uh, they did lose some stuff. He, I don't know whether he was hoping that he could retrieve it from August 28th. September 7th, did you hear that? He called, he called me the same morning and told me 100% it was their fault, yeah. what happened. Um, he said to me that morning, he said, Brady, it was our fault. Last night we tried to switch everything over. We didn't realize there was that one other server. Um, and it dumped everything from the 28th until the, how I say it was the 10th? Nope, no, it was the 10th. It was the 10th when he called me Thursday after. Okay. Past Thursday, the 10th. So it was the 28th of the 10th. They did do some, you know, different things, but everything obviously has a paper trail. I mean, they were upset over there, but at the same time, it wasn't months, it wasn't, you know, weeks. It was a matter of days. Uh, yes, it stinks to lose anything in a computer, so obviously they would have to go back in and re-put the, re the stuff in, but everything should have a paper trail with everything they do in court anyways. Uh, but Brian did call me, he said they did lose it. He, you know, apologize. He wasn't going to point fingers and said, you know, he could have, he could have said, hey, we don't know what happened. It, you know, it throws up. He's very he called me right up that morning and told me what happened. So, you know, he did tell me though that people there. were not, people were yeah. happy, but there was a chance that he could retrieve it. I haven't heard that he has. Uh, he, but he didn't call me about that, you know, yep. for sure. But yep. I mean, there is a paper trail, and I said to Jerry, you know, it's going to be some extra work. I said, well. It is what it is, but you know the service was good, and we just yeah. went right over there and worked on it. Yep. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Uh, John got Courtney's men and Mike's men involved, and we started the 
beach volleyball over at uh, Wagner Stones Park. The, uh, the pit is in, the sand is in, and we're waiting for all the components to get in to finish it. You changed that from, uh, it was originally railroad ties, but now it's the rubber. It, well, so. there, what John was checking on it, and we were talking while we were over there that at this point, the pressure treated ties are super expensive. And he was going to check on what we put around the outside of the swing sets over there, which are plastic with a pin that goes through. And they interlock, they're very nice looking. And he was checking on the prices of those. And we need some anyway, because some of the other ones that are down on the playground are broken. So everything would match that they're doing over there. That makes sense, because like you said, the wood is Great. five times the price. Yeah. yeah. Uh, splitters. Yeah. Yeah, and you're, you know, you're playing volleyball, you don't really want to fall down on a six by six. It really be considered a boot to come to at least one meeting a month to give us an update? Uh, he can't, he wasn't going to make this meeting, but I would uh, assume he'll make. Can you give us an update on the soccer program that's going on? Well, that's why he's not here. He's dealing with soccer. Yeah, do you guys know anything that's going on with it? Everything's on schedule for the 21st? Or? As far as I know. Everything's on Facebook. If you go to the youth thing, it's four or five times a day. Craig Mills has been putting stuff on there. Um, they got enough coaches for the lights. I seen yesterday. They said they finally got enough coaches because they were six coaches short. I mean, children so sign up. That I, that doesn't say. But yeah, they, they had uh, six coaches for the lights they needed. So if that's six they needed. So I'm sure there's a lot more than six. As far as I know, everything's a go. Yeah. You don't uh, know how many kids or anything like that. He he would ask. He told me the other night. Um, they're playing. 11 kids to the team. Yeah. They're, they're keeping the numbers down. They're probably going to have seven kids on the field at a time. Um, and they're, they're going to try to keep everything, everybody spaced out. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's just amongst ourselves? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Only our town. Thank you. They got a lot of kids signed up. I'm just trying to see if they see any update on the, the site, too. Five? Is that correct? I don't want to tell you wrong. I, That's I, believe it, I, yeah. I, I think the mics were 55. There was 55 kids, and I don't know what the other group was. 60? Something Peewees. like that. Peewees? Peewees, yeah. Yeah, there's Peewees, there's mites. They found enough coaches for all the mites finally last week. Uh, they picked the teams on Thursday. Practice are going to start. They have a meeting tonight right now yep. at the field, and the rosters are going to be handed out, uh, and the coaches will be calling this week. That's what it says on the <laughs> crew youth department site. So, it doesn't say how many, but it says the details of John's up there at a meeting right now, and they have nice pictures, actually, of the volleyball thing that the guys did and everyone else, too. They did my job. Yeah, it looks really nice. And Mike, that was a good heads up with the sand. That's it's beautiful. That's funny too. Yeah. A lot less money. Yeah. Do you have to wear a bathing suit to play volleyball in that? <laughs> yeah. Speedo. And, and, there's, and the other out. thing, talking about that, there's strict, strict guidelines that they are handing out to every single kid. A hand to the parents. They asked the parents not to go tonight, just drop off your kid because they're trying not to get everyone and that, that did say it on here and they called all the parents and asked them. There's very, very strict guidelines. The kids and the parents will show up with masks until they get on the field, then the mask will come off on the kids. The coaches are to wear a mask. The spectators are to wear a mask until they sit down. If they get up to walk around, they're asked not to go field to field to field, you know, just to gossip. Um, it's very strict guidelines. I mean, that's what the youth put into play. So it's every every parent's going to get one though. They're not they're not going to utilize all the fields that are down there. They're going to keep when they're playing games. There's going to be one over next to the number two uh, uh, baseball field, and there's going to be the other one that's going to be way up on the other field. And so you know, normally they had all games going on at once. And that's not what they're going to do this year. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Every parent are going to get in. They have to sign it. Yeah. 
least they're going to know. Okay? So, let it out for now. Yeah. Um, just for public knowledge, everybody, we recovered the fuel information on the whole fuel program. Yeah, yeah primary uh, was able to recover all the fuel stuff that we thought we lost and all the recordings and all that. We got it all back with mm -hmm. no set. Our lane has to yeah. input well, all the basic data to be able to do the billing first, but we didn't lose any of the, bill, the information that was on the fuel island. So it's not ready to be billed yet, but we have it. We're towards it. Towards it. <laughs> all the keys, that should be Wednesday, all the keys have to be redone. The town, the school district, and the fire district. Good. Plan on doing that Wednesday. Good. Yeah. Good. Nope. That was a big relief. Oh, yeah. 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 No, I, I got. I was supposed to bring it this afternoon. I didn't. I wasn't bringing it. Anything else? Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. the last time we met, uh, Mike, you did yeah. the athletic field down there, yeah. Carmine, yeah. and then you did in front of your garage. Yep. Make uh, Courtney's jealous. So. Or uh, it was okay. We'll do that one too. Yeah, you guys want to spoil That's it. Thank you, Mel. Okay. Just want to thank Dave for stopping over a couple times a week and giving me input on his job. He does a wonderful job. I'm glad he stops in to visit with me. Sometimes he gives me a hand working. He's a good guy to have around. Thank you. There we go. Oh, yep, <clears throat> planning board met and we discussed getting away from the Zoom meetings yep. and three of the board members expressed concerns that uh, a meeting in public and with <laughs> we're going to keep sure. the meetings as, we, as they are. Um, certainly we're not having people not going crazy on the board, you know, trying to get on these boards. John, if you could put another blurb in there, please, for okay. both. Oh. Planning board members and zoning board members, would be appreciate it. Uh, uh, Maplefield's uh, looks good. Wednesday. That looks awesome. Coming in open. Yep, looks pretty good. Uh, all the vendors are there tonight, all the vendors. Yep, Subway's not going to be open just yet. They still have some work to do there. But the uh, store itself looks like Wednesday. That looks nice. Yep, that looks really, really good. nice. Yep. That's all I got. So let's go to Courtney for one more. Um, I guess we'll start the Lake Champlain Basin Program grant. Um, the kind of a fee for the village plants ordered the crew cast manhole structure. We're still waiting on the third price. I need to purchase it this month, so hopefully I have your third price by next meeting. <coughs> yeah, hear me? Yeah. yeah. Um, so hopefully I have a third price. I have two prices now. Um, Hopefully by next meeting, I have a third price so we can get that passed and purchased. Uh, we are supposed to, we already asked for one extension, so I need to purchase the stuff this month. And that also, for Valcor, will include a dechlorination unit, um, which is fed with tablets that's going to go inside it and hopefully help our chlorine issues. Um, remember, we are under a significant non compliance of our chlorine fluctuations ever since they lowered our limit. Um, so the, the village plan will be all set with the new chemical feed. Hopefully we can control the phosphorus better injection and bring it down to our new speedies limit. Um, we did get our new speedies permit for the village plan. Um, they did reduce our phosphorus. And they uh, um, obviously will have the disinfection, which is taking place in, I think it was 2025. That's going to be implemented. Um, the water plant is freezing coming along? I, slowly, very slowly. Um, I started to get approvals to purchase the turbidity screen, but then I noticed the drives weren't correct. So now I'm three emails in trying to get the company's attention back to correct the drawings. They just finally, tonight, I see, I see uh, email back. There's a struggle with vendors with communication, but we're getting there. 
that one was working. That new road they just put in over the last little park. Put a sign up there. Flynn's uh, Way or Courtney's Drive. They need a sign up there. <laughs> it does look good, I can tell you that. Hey, Brandy, we should go back to that for a minute. Um, Thank you, Dave. We should put something on the edge of that. If not, as they park, they're going to keep breaking that black top off. It won't happen for a couple of years, but we should either, they won't cost much. So grab a couple of passes of ones and ducks. I got it, so. Yeah, all those grinding you got from the city. Well, I know we figured out one black dirt, but I think it's going to make a mess. So you have some like the book? Yeah. Okay. I don't want you to get charges. Right. <laughs> Why don't you use the grinding that you got for free from the city? That's all grinding. That's what you want. You want our meeting. I'll park there. I go with whatever Mike says he wants to put there because we'll put the road better than we do. Don't put dirt. Don't put dirt. You know what to put. <coughs> okay. Uh, Pam. Uh, we got a couple of copies of checks at the back of the file. Yeah. Um, they're not big, but um, okay. this one is from Nimer Insurance Company, so it's 50% of um, <coughs> our remaining capital that was paid to Nimer. Um, they do this every year. And then the other check is the diversion management program, which has to do with the court. Um, the diversion program offers an alternative procedure for alleged first-time nonviolent offenders, offenders and tobacco offenders. Um, when the girl from uh, the DA's office called, she says we're probably talking thousands of dollars, not just hundreds of dollars, but this is the first check. So hopefully we'll be able to get a little extra money. And also we'd like to change um, the meeting. Courtney's workshop. On the 23rd. To, to, yes. Or the 16th. The 16th. To the 30th. To the 30th. Yeah. Same time. So the first budget workshop we are going to change from the 16th. We are going to have the um, head of the budget present, you know, we're going to present the Diane that night still on the 16th, two minute meeting, but we are not going to go into that workshop with Courtney. We're going to change it from the 16th to the 30th. That's all been right now. So we need a motion and a second to approve that. I make the motion to change the meeting to October 30th. Second. Second. Okay. Motion by Craig. Second by Rick. Uh, that was September 30th. September 30th. 30th. Yeah. I'll make the motion to make it September 30th and rescind the October 30th. Okay. That's in September 16th. September 16th. September 16th to September 30th. Yeah. Sure. That being said. All in favor? Aye. 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 So we're good. Do we have to be here for the presentation? Yes, you do. We got to have at least three of us. Yeah. Not everyone has to, but at least three. Rose there, we'll get no, won't be here. You won't. You can skip if you want to. It's only a two-minute meeting. No, won't we'll be here. And if you aren't here, we got three of us. Because we want to do it at six o'clock in the morning. Get it done. I can do that too before I go to work. I'll see you guys. We do. We do. Whatever get them done. It's up to you guys. Oh boy. You know, we're keeping we're keeping it sick. <laughs> I, I can be Come on, boys. I can be a But we are the guy that's scheduled for six. I've been a day's work by six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you do it. What? <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't hear you. No. <laughs> it wasn't nice then, John, was it? <laughs> I did take a one more. Okay. Um, I know Mike brought up before, but the employee handbook, we do need to sit down and go through that. There are some changes that need to be made. And I'd like to have the discussion on our step program for hires. I believe the last four people we hired, we haven't started at step one, so I think we need to review that and maybe adjust, adjust that. We talked about that last year. It would kind of be nice. We can't start off at $14 or something. 
no matter how possible to do that. I would want to do that with a workshop or meet with a couple of liaisons first. I'd say meet with the liaisons first and let them bring it to the budget meetings. That's what I would. Some of, the, I mean, some of the handbook stuff, stuff that's already been decided from the past years that just needs to be put in there. Do we have to get a whole of the person that wrote that? Changes. We can have them change it, or we can they don't just, need to be we, mod we can modify it to wherever we want it to be changed, and then we just, we just change it. We just have to have a meeting and say what we're changing. Do we have to have a public hearing that? It's just our handbook. No, yeah, we don't have to have any kind of public hearing or anything like that. It's our employee handbook. So we so, got time September 16th now. What's that? We got time September 16th now. Two days? Are you going to meet with ladies on the two days and meet and all that? Or do you want to do it at your meeting on the 23rd and talk to ladies on before the 30th, I mean? Do you yeah. want to get done before the beginning of the year? One thirds. No, 30th. 30th, 30th. 30th. is yours. 30th. Okay. So talk to these ones before ahead of time. I mean, so we can change. And then his meeting, we talk about it during the budget time. Yeah. Like I can come up with a list yeah. as far as the stuff that's already changed. And then we can decide on it. Anything else? No. Thank you. That's all good. Thank you. Okay, I have a couple. Um, if I recall, I seen something. I I could be wrong on this. Is Applefest still having the chicken dinner? No, they are not. Okay, they'll be PGZ. Somebody said they thought they 